Today let me introduce you to a very good cooler called Havel's Redo Eye Desert Cooler. Uh, before I tell you about its features, uh, let me warn you that it is uh, its price is a bit on the higher side. Uh, online you will get it for seventeen thousand to eighteen thousand rupees, and uh, uh, in the local market you will get it for around uh, sixteen thousand to sixteen thousand five hundred. Uh, I bought it from the local market, uh, but I highly recommend you uh, to buy it online so that you get all the original parts and everything. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you more about that uh, towards the end of the review. Uh, where should you buy it from? But more importantly, what are the features? Why did I spend so much of money uh, to buy this particular cooler? Because a local cooler, uh, you can buy it for around 5,000, 6,000, even um, symphony coolers you can buy for less than 10,000. So why did I shell out you know, so much of money uh, just for a water cooler? It's not even in AC, right? So why should I be spending so much on it? So there are a couple of features that I do not find in any other cooler in the market. Yeah, some of these features are present in uh, Symphony uh, coolers, but all of these features at the same time are not present in any other cooler in the market. So I'm talking about three main features. One is, it is not a blower type, it is a fan type. So what is a blower and what is a fan? See, blower means it is a plastic uh, drum uh, having, uh, having a few, uh, uh, you know, uh, edges uh, turned and then it just rotates so that leads to a circular motion of the air and then there's a slit through which this air comes out slit or window through which it this air comes out this is called a blower type and uh, fan type means it actually has a fan so blowers usually make a lot of noise and give less amount of air flow that means the air won't reach sufficient distance but fan type give a lot of air the air reaches to a great distance and less amount of noise is there so when i saw symphony coolers then i saw most of them were of blower type so blower type creates a lot of noise i did not want it so that is why a lot of symphony coolers went out of picture then uh, in the fan types uh, i chose those coolers uh, which will have closed a water tank now why is that important because whenever you install any cooler uh, the main problem that you face is that of the mosquitoes because mosquitoes breed on the water of the water tank and then they start biting you so i wanted a remedy over it that you know what to do so some people suggest that you know spray some kerosene over it so that kerosene will form a layer over the water and the mosquitoes won't be able to breed but then the kerosene uh, uh, smell is really bad then uh, some people also suggest that uh, you know instead of kerosene you can use a fragrant liquid and it will also form a layer over the water and it will act just like the kerosene but the smell is bearable smell is better uh, but then once again i feel uh, if you're using that cooler day in and day out every single day then uh, is it a good idea to you know smell that particular uh, liquid you don't even know whether it is safe for you health wise or not and that is why i thought it would be a healthier choice if i chose for a water cooler having a closed tank so in the market once again i searched for all the closed tanks again um, there were very few coolers which provided a uh, closed tank and the third thing that I searched for is, uh, you know, I did not want uh, khush or, uh, you know, wood wool nets. Uh, because wood wool net, if you use now, uh, then it spills over a lot of that wood wool that falls on the ground and you have to clean it up a lot, especially during installation and uninstallation of the, uh, you know, uh, cooler. Uh, a lot of that wood wool falls on the ground or if it is not a covered water tank then it falls in the water tank and it re it is really difficult to clean it up after that so i wanted a more durable uh, kind of a net so when i searched online i found that see nowadays uh, the new age nets come with honeycomb webs so it is basically just paper and it is uh, you know it is like cardboard and it has a lot of honeycomb webs and uh, the air basically flows through these honeycomb webs and it reaches the blower or uh, you know uh, fan whichever cooler it is and then this cold air uh, you know uh, is circulated outside in your room so i thought it's a brilliant idea and besides uh, you know more than khush or uh, uh, wood wool uh, this honeycomb webs uh, provide a larger amount of uh, air canopy through which uh, this air flows through the net. So for a longer time the air will flow through the net 
and uh, that is why it will lead to a longer amount of cooling so the air coming out will be cooler and uh, also it won't uh, you know it won't get damaged that easily as the wood wool or uh, crush nets get damaged so that is the reason why i finally uh, search for this also this also became one of my criteria that i should be having honeycomb web nets so when i looked at the market i did not find a single cooler in the market providing all these three features and that is the reason why i chose havels fredo i again uh, after choosing it i found that it is the best uh, cooler in the market because i found some perks which i was not even looking for like for example the honeycomb webs uh, the uh, beyond the net there is a insect uh, security net also uh so more than the insects you know i also know that insects won't enter the cooler anyways because the tank is anyways covered uh but uh, uh, it actually protects your honeycomb net uh, from the dust and that is the thing that i really liked uh, especially this year when i uh, you know opened that cooler and cleaned it for the maintenance work and reinstalled it at that time uh, the insect net was really helpful and uh, all the dust got accumulated on the insect net itself so that was an additional feature that i got with this cooler another cool thing that i got with this cooler is uh, it has a partition where you can keep ice cubes and uh, those ice cubes will melt and that cold water will be circulated uh, on all your nets and uh, that will lead to a better cooling so i really like this idea and many coolers do provide this not just havels many other coolers do provide this so this is also an additional thing that i got and i liked it third additional thing that i liked is the remote control so nowadays many coolers come with a remote control and it is a very good addition uh, because uh, uh, it is really cumbersome that uh, you uh, have to reach out to the cooler every time just to change the swing mode or uh, uh, just to change the speed of the fan so it's always better to you know have a remote control side by so that you can watch tv and you don't have to uh, get up from the couch all the time so these are the three main basic uh, good things that i got i was not even looking for them but i did get them besides one more cool factor that i uh, saw is uh, it has a auto drain feature what is auto drain see whenever you have to clean a desert cooler so you have to empty its tank so how do you empty your tank you have to uh, establish a siphon uh, and then that water is siphoned out so you do it manually right uh, instead of doing that uh, this uh, havels has given you a feature of auto drain wherein the motor which is used for uh, you know wetting your uh, nets uh the same motor is used in auto drain feature wherein it will pump the water out of the tank to a hole and uh, you can direct that hole uh, uh, towards your bathroom maybe if you want and uh, uh, it will uh, throw away all the water out of the tank and that is a very cool feature i really liked it i do not find this feature in many other uh, water coolers another good feature that i found is even in uh, symphony coolers i did find this uh, feature that it has roller coasters it has uh, you know caster wheels Uh, at the bottom so you can move it around very easily see previously i had a desert cooler and it did not have this so what happened is um, all the water got accumulated at the bottom of its tank and then uh, all the char of that water got accumulated and then when i removed it after the uh, summer season passed uh, there was a patch that was formed at the place where i had kept that uh, cooler and it was really difficult for me to clean it up and the tiles always had that patch uh, so that is also a very cool feature that uh, symphony coolers provide and have skill cooler also provide so that is why i would highly recommend that you know instead of buying a local cooler a uh, local desert cooler you uh, spend a little more money and you know buy a modern cooler which will give you all these features so as far as my research goes uh, i basically found all these features into only this one cooler symphony coolers are also cool but the main problem is that they are mostly uh, lower kind of a uh, coolers and that is why uh, you know many of the coolers are of lower type yes they are smaller uh, in size but uh, uh, i'll i'll tell you the reality you actually need a tank of at least 70 liters because uh, i'm using this particular cooler and i'm using it day in and day out for the complete day if you want to use the cooler then the water tank capacity should be at least 70 liters as the fredo i provides you um, symphony coolers are small uh, they are portable everything is good but then the problem is you will have to fill them with water very very often and that is what i didn't like and besides the blower uh, also i did not like the concept of blower now what are the downsides of this particular cooler the only downside that i saw is that it does not have copper wind Uh, fan 
so the fan engine should be of copper winding so that it is more durable uh, but this one does not provide that uh, the specifications are not clearly mentioned but uh, i personally feel that it must be aluminium winding and that is really uh, not durable but i do not find many coolers in the market which give you this copper binding so this is a place where i compromised another place that i compromised on is i was getting this cooler for 1000 rupees lesser if i bought it from the local market but the problem that happened is that uh, the cooler was assembled in uh, that shop uh, before i came and uh, i uh, very highly doubt that you know the screws that he has used while assembling that cooler are given by heavens because some of the screws are damaged some some of them have cracks and some of them are even rusted so many of these screws when i uh, 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 tried to unscrew them and use them during this uh, maintenance uh, work that i did today uh i did not uh, really see them sticking to the magnetic screw driver so that also means that these are not uh, havel screws these seem to be some local brand screws so definitely you know um, uh, probably this uh, shopkeeper has cut some corners over there you think that screws are okay you can always change them but let me tell you uh, some of these screws are immediately below the net and uh, these nets are always drenched in water so these screws also are completely drenched in water so if they rust then they are going to be uh, very detrimental to your entire assembly it is bad and there are very good chances that they will get rusted so you should always have good screws good spare parts so that was a quick review from me if you think uh, there's any other cooler in the market which is better than this then please comment about it in the comment section i'll love to listen and the first 10 comments i'll definitely respond to So that was Amit and until next time goodbye